Um, you know, I, I thought the, the rebounding was a big key. You know, they had 17 second chance points, uh, nine in the third quarter alone. And that's something that we talked about at halftime. And uh, obviously, they continue to hurt us after the half. Um, the free throw line, they got there 29 times. We only got there 14. Um, and then the fourth quarter defense, you know, uh, when the game was hanging in the balance and you need to get stops, uh, we were unable to. They, uh, they scored 33 points, and more importantly, they shot 50% from the field in that quarter. Um, so, um, you know, they're playing well and obviously a disappointing outcome for us. Um, three fast break points just weren't able to get out and run the way you normally do, too. Was that uh, just were they just getting back better, or what was that due to? Well, uh, we played really good defense. If you look at the numbers, I mean, 107 points allowed, 42 from the field, 31 from three. I mean, those are tremendous defensive numbers. But we didn't defend without fouling, so you can't run off the free throw line. And then we gave them too many second chance opportunities, which also eliminates the, your ability to get out and run. Uh, that team is playing well, and they're defending at a high level. So uh, something that we have to be better at. The, uh, the bench again, obviously limited production from the bench. Where do you go to get to jumpstart that? Well, guys got to help themselves. Yeah, you know I mean, like I, it's not my responsibility to get guys going. I mean, you're an NBA player. Colin Gillespie, I thought, went out there and played his heart out. Uh, we have to, you know, ha have to find ways. I can help Christian, Julian, Peyton figure out. Um, how they can be better out there, but I can't get them going. That's something that each individual has to do. Um, so, yeah, we need more. We can't have eight bench points. Uh, and they had a lot more than that, whatever that number adds up to. So, yeah, we need to get something going with that bench unit. At second half, I tried to stagger a few starters, Michael, Aaron, with those guys to try to get them through the half. But um, I know that Christian, I know that Julian, I know that Peyton are better players and they're playing right now. And that's my biggest concern is how do I help them become better players and impact the game at a higher level? And I got to believe, I mean, they're super young players as well. So, I mean, a lot of this is just learning the NBA and learning how to navigate through all these situations, or, or is it more than that? No, I mean, that's definitely part of it. I mean, you know, it's, uh, we talked about going into the season. Uh, the greatest challenge that we have is you're trying to compete for a championship. And you're also trying to develop four young players off the bench. And that is insanely hard because young players are going to have nights like tonight. And uh, you have to continue to support them and help them in any way that you can. And, uh, and that's what we're going to do. I mean, Christian Brown helped us win a championship last year. Uh, you know, Peyton Watson has tons of potential. Julian Strother had a tremendous preseason. So we know what these guys are capable of. And, you know, how do we get that out of them uh, on just on a more consistent basis? Uh, what I said pregame. I mean, uh, he's a very good player, skilled, rebounds, uh, can post up, can score in the pocket and pick and rolls. He makes his teammates better. Um, you know, obviously, he's for a young player. They brought in some really good veteran players to help a guy like Jalen Green and, and Alperin Sengun. Um, but you know, Sengun is having a hell of a season, and he impacts the game in so many ways.